Have you ever wondered what off-roading in Southeast Asia looks like? Join us as we embark on our first camping adventure in our 80 series land cruiser along the beautiful beaches of Cambodia. We weave our way through dense jungle to uncover some incredibly beautiful secluded locations, spending our days swimming, snorkeling, kayaking and soaking up the picturesque coastline. and welcome to another episode of Adventure Unlimited. We're off on our first camping trip and I've found this spot on Google Satellite that looks like it should be absolutely primo. Really nice beach at the end of a bay with a little rocky outcrop so there should be some good snorkeling, uh, maybe get the kayak out. Absolutely pumped to get down there, get set up. Should be a good one. Beach camping, baby. The only downside, and it's a big one, is the amount of shit that has washed up with the high tide. It is insane. <laughs> oh, we don't, we don't have our office sacks or anything. I don't think we even bought bin bags, did we? Oh, shit. <laughs> that was things we forgot. <laughs> it's alright. Um, Too much to pick up. You need a semi trailer down here. Literally. It's just, it's strewn all along here. Yeah, we'll get set up and show you our new setup. It is very basic. Sun's going down pretty quick, too, so. Yeah. But I camp before dark. I don't know. Oh, we're a winner. <laughs> First trip in the 80. Not a bad view to wake up to. Did you wake up or were you just awake all night? I was awake all night. <laughs> Almost. Didn't realise there was a nightclub just on the beach over there. <laughs> So yeah, it turns out this uh, resort here, um, it's a party resort. That's a night, it's a, it's a beach nightclub. <laughs> and then we've got all the um, squid boats and stuff out there, just docker, 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 all night. <laughs> well, that was very refreshing. Uh, the water's warmer than the air temperature. So I think we're gonna do a little clean up this morning around our camp area. Because you can probably see a little bit better in the light of day just how, oh, it's just, it's unreal. It's actually like <clears throat> a bit overwhelming. The amount of rubbish that is here. I reckon you could easy fill like 20 opera sacks just yeah. like just around here. Um, but we're gonna 
we'll take what we can with this and the rest of it will clear above the high water mark so it doesn't go back out into the ocean. I think we might have to buy some more ochre sacks and get them delivered. One of you makes big ones. Big. Big, yeah, it's just, it's insane. It's like not probably, well, actually, there probably are plenty of places in the world where you can have a private beach to yourself, but it does put a bit of a dampener on it when it's filled with rubbish. <laughs> There's like thongs and mainly water bottles, quite mm -hmm. like fishing floats. It's like a ladder over there, a chair. Yeah. Crazy. And then we're going to set up the quick shade, both for the sun when it comes out later and also there's maybe some storms coming. It is looking a little bit stormy around the place. Knock up some brekkie and then do some exploring and relaxing. Beautiful morning, woken up to this. Ooh. Stop it. Better night last night, I'm a bit of sleep. Going out for some snorkeling this morning before it gets too stinking hot. Yeah. What did we do yesterday? Not much. Swam, hid under the quick shade. <laughs> got really sunburnt. And got even though we spent pretty much 90% of the day under the quick shade and we sun creamed up, the reflection of the water and the sand, it burnt us on our fronts. <laughs> yeah, real patchy sunburn. So going swimming in our shirt and shorts this morning. Just come up along the beach to these little rocky section. Hopefully there's some good little snorkeling around there. See how it goes. Not a huge fan of the old ocean, so let Carly go in first, test the waters, and I just go walk around these rocks. Somewhat successful mission. We had a, we had a snorkel. <laughs> it was very refreshing. Yeah. Back to, back to a warm bath temperature. Oh, yeah. No reef or no real fish. Just some little baby fish. The rest have been fished out. Yeah, head back to camp. Made coffee. Chill out for the day. Yeah. Can't really complain with this beach bar.
Well, we are back on the road and heading out of this little goat track that I don't think is designed for massive land cruisers. In, so we're gonna get out. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I think only scooters run this track. Uh, you guys asked for jungle bashing. Next episode of is Google sending us down some random ass tracks that lead nowhere? Where are we going? <laughs> to a jungle. Doesn't seem like a road really well traveled but there was a sign on the entrance saying a res beach resort so we headed to the beach so that is one win. Let's see where it takes us. Well it looks like Google is sending us in the right direction. We're getting pretty damn close which is a win. Since we've got to turn right so you know Oh, there we go. Oh, we got a right turn. And road. we're in the middle of nowhere, going down these little tracks with these little shacks. Found an awesome place that's got all fruit and veg, which is mint. Dirt cheap. Dirt cheap. We got some ice, which is a winner. And we're like just cruising down this track. It's like this. And next thing is a massive service station. Like, in the middle of all these like, farming shack plans. And one thing I've learned over here is three things that you can always get, no matter where you are. It's fuel, water, and most importantly, beer. Pretty much every single little shop somewhere, wherever you are, there's beer. It's like the smallest little person's house, they're selling beer. It's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, we just paid some dude some money to come through a gate. <laughs> We're not sure if we had to or not, but seemed pretty friendly. <laughs> Hopefully this takes us to where we want to go. Looks pretty nice. Guessing it's going to be a free camp. Little huts and everything. Well, today is by far the windiest day we've had so far, which is part of why we wanted to come somewhere surrounded by trees and get a load of this spot. Excuse the noise. Not bad. Now that wind's dropped off a little bit, hopefully you can hear us all right because it is still blowing a little bit. Uh, I'll give you a snappy tour of this campground. So just over to the left of where we're parked up, we got a nice little shack with a hammock. Big rigs over here. Wow, definitely not 30 seconds set up <laughs> compared with the old rooftop. Trick is, no tins before tents, but we had three tins before we had a tent and yeah. it was a mess. Yeah, it's a bit slow. It's a bit slow. It's all right, we got time. It's only mid-afternoon. Got some like massive pots here, which are being used as rubbish bins, which is good to see. The old tin shed with facilities, uh, which is which is nice, more than the last one had. And tomorrow, when that wind's died down in the morning, I think we're going to go for a little swim. This island is not far away, so. 
We'll go check that out. What are your thoughts on this spot? Play it, Min. It's nice. It's good, eh? It's way cooler than the last spot. Yeah. The palm trees are just boss. They make a big difference. Uh, we have made sure that we don't pull up our tent, don't set up our tent underneath any coconuts. Because they've been dropping <laughs> a lot. <laughs> we haven't been here that long, but big thumbs up from us. Now for a little kayak this morning. Absolutely perfect. Perfect conditions. How good is our campground look? Does look good. I don't think we have to up to go for it. No. Nah. It's just the sort of trees. It's boss. Mm -hmm. Fishing boats out there. Carly wants to stay so high. I did not. Made it to the island. Camp's just there. That was a big mission. Was it? We didn't just come out here, it's only about 50 metres. Went all around, around the headland on the other side. Quite nice. power of nature astounds me. Like there's nothing really on this island, not much sand, mainly rock. 
a lot of rubbish. It's these plants just grown out of here. It's crazy, man. Back from the little kayak trip. It's time for another coffee and some breakfast. She's warm already. It's hot. We can have some little sambos. Coffee. Yeah, boy. I think we'll do this, then we'll move the chairs into the shade under the palm trees and just watch, watch the morning go by. Well, the weather's turned a bit. What a difference a few hours makes. It's got a bit windy. Sorry, the audio is probably crappy. Currently bunkered down because uh, rain's coming too, so we're chucking everything in the car. We put the fly on the tent, just roughly, and we're gonna go to shelter under that little hut over there. I don't think it's going to be too much rain, but it should be right. Not really set up for it. Yeah, we didn't put the big shade up because of the wind. We don't have pegs for it yet, so. And uh, yeah, no pegs for it, and with all the trees around, we didn't really need it for change, so. We're all good. Well, she just stepped up a level. She got the rain. For a minute, the wind's blowing it straight into us. Yeah, it was a good call from Carly to put the uh, fly in the tent. Otherwise, we'd be having a soggy sleep tonight. We're going to be driving back to the Yeah. Our first real rain in Cambodia. Definitely think there's a lot more of this to come. Oh, yeah. Oh, joking me. 24 free beers. <laughs> it's a carton there. We haven't even finished the second carton yet, and we've already got a carton of free beers. <laughs> it's good. Good value. That's how they get ya. Hey, they got me before for the price of what the cartons were. <laughs> <laughs> for context, a carton goes at between 12 and 13. US dollars, which is about 18 Australian. So each can's about 70 cents at most. And like 50% of the beers, you win more beers. Anyway, it's wound up a bit. The uh, sun's trying to come out. So we're gonna go for a little stroll. They see what there is to see around the corner. We already saw it. We kayaked around there, but. Nah, we there. no, we walked around there yesterday. Yeah, we walked further than that. Oh, bloody hell. All right. Put me walking shoes on. No, I just want <laughs> So much rubbish. Yeah, just give me anxiety. It's painful. You just want to pick it up, but you can't, you can't store it. You can't get rid of it. Well, there's bins here. Yeah, I fine. did clean up a bit of the beach around our campsite, but there is a lot of it. And they just burn it. <laughs> There's no tip facilities. Recycling. Yeah. It's crazy, there's just like bits of them everywhere. Randomly in the, like the limestone looking rock. Real red, volcanic looking rock. Move the rocks. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> 
oh, it just kills you. I don't know if it's just like education. I know like in Australia the education is pretty high on it. We're like, we know that it's bad. It's bad to throw it over to get rid of it and get rid of it properly. They limit the use of it, but here it's kind of like you order something, they give you a plastic cup with a plastic straw in a bag where you don't need either of them or any of them. And you buy it, a double bag. It's just like, no, no, no plastic, no plastic. And they just like, more plastic, more plastic. Crazy. Mm -hmm. Anyone knows what makes that, that noise, let us know in the comments. It's like... I reckon it's my crabs, because look at all the crab balls. Oh, Paul, no pluggers will be fine price. Well, if you ain't clumsy, you're wrong. <laughs> I am clumsy though. We both have one stack of piece. I don't have a stack, I just have a slip. I started my feet just to... I'm not really one piece, but who, who, who stayed in their feet and who landed on the ground? I didn't land on the ground. I... You, were, you went on your feet. <laughs> I landed on a rock. Thank you very much. Rock is ground. <laughs> we both like going for strolls. Paul especially, because uh, ADHD things. But it's really... I really, I almost don't want to here because I just know that wherever we go, we're just going to find a bunch of plastic. Um, and it's a bit grim. You know, you hear a lot about, um, watch me go multitasking, climbing over rocks as a clumsy person. You hear a lot about uh, rubbish washing up in Bali and that sort of thing. And I feel like the only reason you hear about it there is because heaps of people go there and heaps of Westerners go there that are used to having beaches that aren't covered in plastic. And it's happening everywhere. And it's depressing. <laughs> Paul's looked into volunteering over here with some um, cleanup operations, uh, like while I'm at work and that sort of thing. But most of them just want donations. They don't want um, people to actually go and help, so. I guess we'll just donate, but a lot more needs to be done. Well, that is a wrap on our first little shakedown camping trip in Cambodia. <laughs> good little trip. Had some good weather. Beautiful. Had some not so good weather, but even that was nice. It was good. Cooled down a bit. 100%. Just finished packing down. It is hot as Hades already. It's only 8.30 in the morning. <laughs> so Paul's going to go for a little dip. It's an absolute glass off again. Oh, stop it. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. There's plenty more camping trips in Cambodia coming up in the near future.